What's up YouTube? Jer here from the Freckish Bros bringing you guys day 26 of Oud Vember. Now today's uh, Oudy scent is a very special one. It was donated by Dan My Mickers Mish and it goes as far as I know by the name Saad. S-A-A-D. Now Dan sent this uh, specifically for Oud Vember and uh, came with a bit of a warning about <laughs> how Oudy and stanky it is so um, I was apprehensive to try this one and I purposely saved it for a day where I would not inter uh, interact with a lot of people so that uh, my dog. So that would not, that, it would offend as few people as possible and I would get as few jeers and upturned noses as possible. So uh, today we wore sod. Now I can't find any information on sod, it's not on Fragrantica. I can't, I don't think it's on base notes, I can't really find anywhere to buy it. I believe it's strictly a Middle Eastern thing. I think it's supposed to be really, really pure, really, really serious oud. I'm really hoping Dan, I know Dan will pop up and say some things, but Dan, if you would, when you when you come on to comment, if you would kind of fill everybody in on what side is and the backstory, because I really don't know much about it. Um, but, you know, when I was preparing to wear sod, and really, uh, you know, several times throughout oud I've kind of opened the decant and, holy moly, it's my phone. <laughs> I'm very unprepared for this video, folks. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I'd smelled the decant, and it is off-putting. Boy, I was nervous, nervous about sod. Uh, but I just bit the bullet and went for it today. And I have some things to report about sod. When you first spray it, it is awful to me. I mean, it is the stinkiest, most body odorous, just funky smell. It really just, I mean, seriously, my reaction was, oh, no, God, no, oh, no. Kind of like Katie Puckrick's Secretius Magnifique video, just, no, come on, seriously, really, really, this is this a real thing? Um, it was rough in the beginning. And, uh, oh, but, you know, after, it didn't take long, maybe, maybe 10 minutes for me, 10 to 15 minutes, it settled down quite a bit. And it was still oody and still funky, but some other things began to happen. Um, I don't know what all the notes are, I don't know what any of the notes are other than oud, but I began to smell something that was... Um, kind of like an accord of berries and wood notes. Um, it was a sweet woody scent that came up kind of underneath all that oud and to be honest it got a little pleasant. It got kind of pleasant. It was not so bad. Um, the oud stayed and gave it this really overtly masculine um, body odorish like sweaty man kind of feel you know um, and I you know maybe, maybe culturally that's acceptable or it's pleasing to people in other cultures. You know, in the Middle East, I know these oud scents are very popular, so maybe over there that's a more acceptable thing or it's you know, more common or something. I'm not sure. Um, I think here in the States, it's pushing the boundaries. <laughs> and, you know, Dan's a big oud fan, and uh, we all kind of poke fun at him for it. Uh, I know that he really enjoys sod, and uh, I can see things that are enjoyable about sod, but I would say that I enjoy sod overall just because it is I mean it's really just draped in this blanket of stank a blanket of stank a stank blanket if you will <laughs> I don't know it's a very very weird fragrance but just to try to sum it up for you when you first spray it it's going to be body odor funk and then later it's going to be kind of like a sweet fruity woody kind of feel up under that but it's always going to be oody it's always going to be that funky body odor kind of oud so um, if you're looking to really smell like the stinkiest oud, the oud that you've heard of, like the feared oud smell, this is the one I think you want to try. Um, but if you wear it, I encourage you to give it a full wearing and wait and see because it does get better. Towards the end, the oud um, gets drier and sharper to me and it becomes similar to that sort of dry down of Pardon from Nasamato, which is just sort of this, I don't know, just this weird sharp scent. It's, it's hard to describe to me. Um, but it wasn't the worst thing in the world. I will say this about Saad. Um, I could smell it constantly. Just constantly. It's very strong. And when I brought my wrist up to smell it, you know, like, and I wouldn't really touch my arm. I mean, I might graze it with my arm hair or something, but I wouldn't really touch it. But it would stay in my nose for like 30 seconds after that of just like intense Saad all up in my nostrils. And I think it's just a testament to the power of this fragrance. This stuff is no... Lie. I have no idea what the concentration is. It's got to be like triple eau de parfum. Parfum. It's just got to be like mad crazy concentrated. 
it's really, really strong stuff. Uh, you know, go easy on the trigger with this. Anyways, thank you very much, Dan. I feel like I feel like now, like I've really fulfilled something. Like this is the pinnacle of Oud Vember today because I feel like I experienced the oudiest fragrance I'm going to experience, and I came away not upset. I came away not hating it. Finding something I can appreciate, and uh, I think that's you know maybe a testament to Oud Vember that I'm learning to find the gold in these Udi fragrances. So. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it very much. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Y'all have a good evening.